Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on Transformers Optimus Prime issue 45 from Fan Home. Sorry, I started getting the book set up before I finished my intro. <clears throat> so today we're starting on the right shoulder, similar to the left shoulder that we finished in issue 44. Hopefully it's not going to be near the pain that issue 44 was. Hang on just a second. Sorry about that. My wife texted me. So, like I was saying, hopefully it's not a pain the way the left shoulder was. And the left shoulder wasn't that difficult. It was just there at the end. It was a little bit of a pain behind the finish. Okay, so we have... Hang on. We have missing parts, it looks like. Hang on. Let me double check. I don't think there's anything left in the bag. Let's see, this is 45. Well, <laughs> there's a problem. I opened pack 46. So let's set these parts off to the side. We'll see. We might actually just continue on with Pack 46 once we're done with 45. Looked at the parts and it looked like pieces were missing. So we got some screws. We got what they call this the arm anchor. Just a bunch of detail parts here, some pins and one metal piece that holds the whole shoulder together. If I can get it out, out of here. And it was actually getting this last part attached that was a pain on the left shoulder. Okay, so we take this piece here, and we've got 45G, which is these two pieces, and 45 H. Go ahead and get them all out of here. This one is 45H. These two are 45G. And they're just detail pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 45Gs. And we're going to push them in just like that. There's a hole right here for the other one. These are just press fit. You could glue them, but there's not really any reason to. Matter of fact, that one didn't want to go all the way in. And then 45H is going to go right up here. And they're just round pins, so I think they're just round. Uh, it's a round pin. It should just go in. Not wanting to go in. So let's tap it in place. And there you go. It's in place. No scars from hammering on it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this big um, upper extension. And we're going to put one of these detail parts. This one right here, this detail part is going to go on there. Just looking. Ah, I'm on the wrong side of it, I believe. Just looking for where this part goes. There we go. It is a D-shaped hole. Goes into, or D-shaped pin goes into that D-shaped hole. Again, just a press fit. get it lined up. There we go. Looks just like that when it's in place. And another detail part here. Another right shoulder frame into this pin. 
this one actually is D-shaped because it goes in a specific way as well. The pin, I mean, goes on there just like that. And then we're going to take the detail, the uh, upper part of the shoulder here. Got two sockets here plus a pinhole. You got the two lugs and a pinhole pin right there. It's going to go on here like this. We'll turn it over. We're going to use two CP screws. And P means that they'll be going into plastic. So no oil needed. started. Drop the other one in, get it started. And then tighten them both all the way down. Just like that. You can see the screws in place. And that's now the detail is finished on for the most part. <coughs> The last part that goes on, let's put this screw back in here so I can put it in my screw box. Last part that's going to go on is this flap assembly, which is very important when you actually assemble this to the shoulder. Don't forget that pin like I did. It wasn't an issue, but it could have been an issue because I didn't put the pin in until after I'd put the screws on. You'll see, either, either, you can either go back and watch the video where I put that in, I think that was stage 43, or in about two videos, I'll be putting that, I should be putting that together. This is not playing nice. It's, these parts, they're nice to have the pivot there, but a lot of times they're a pain to get together. And especially this one, because Pivot's nice, but you don't need it when you finally get it put together. So I'm going to push this in here with the end of the needle nose. It's most of the way set. And that's flush on there. And you can see this pivots really easily. So that's all there is to do in stage 45. And at seven minutes, that's a very so, since I already opened them, let's bring stage 46 over and we'll finish this part of the shoulder and actually finish off this shipment of Optimus Prime. So we've got some screws, we've got three discs that are all going to be detailed, some more screws, and this is the key part of the shoulder. That's actually where everything's going to mount up. What do they call it here? Ah, joint shaft. So first thing we're going to do is, I believe, is it, I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one here. Three sockets on the back. Line up with the three lugs on here. It's going to go on here just like that. And we're going to turn it over. Hang on. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to turn it over. We're going to put the screws in from this side. And these are the KP screws, FM screws. I need three of them. There are four in the package, so I'll only need, I'll need all but one. One's a spare. Get the screw in the oil. Get it started. Bring it up to the next one. The oil is simply to make the screws cut the threads a little bit easier in the die cast. So now that we have all three of them in there, let's go ahead and tighten them all the way down. And we're going to tighten them. Very snug, but not so tight that they snap the plastic. Get a 
there's two, and here's the third one. Snug it down. And there you go. And by the way, you can see right here, there is an R denoting that this is the right shoulder. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece. It's going to go on this way. Again, it shows the R. You've got these three sockets, which are going to line up with these three lugs. Just like that. And we're going to put in KP screws. I'm going to dump out all of them except one because there's they only give you one spare in an issue. Sometimes they give you, in other part works, they give you some that they expect you to hold on to into uh, later stages. Haven't had that happen on Optimus, but it does happen on some. Like the Millennium Falcon, for example, back when I did it 11 years ago, they gave you a bunch of hardware that you were supposed to hold on to for two or three stages down the road. was not a bad idea, but it, if you throw away your extra hardware at the end of a stage, it could be an issue. So get this third one tightened up. And that's how that goes on there. <clears throat> then we have this last piece here, and I'm looking at it. Let's go ahead and get this out, this pin. Pin goes into this spot here. It just slides straight through. And it doesn't seem to want to go. Hang on. Yeah, it doesn't want to go through easily. Try it the other way again. It does not want go through very easily. There we go. Just had to get it past the initial part spot. <clears throat> so we lock this down inside there. Sticks out here. Turn the page. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this part here. This rounded raised section here towards the top. This tab here is going to go over this tab here on here just like this push it in place and then put it hold it in place with three more KP screws There's the first one the second one the third one I'm gonna do more than just start I'm gonna drive it all the way home go back and do the other two. This is actually a very well designed shoulder. It's a little bit of it was a little bit of a pain on some parts of the uh, left one. The right one should go together better because I've done it before. <clears throat> but that is all there is to do. There's the start of the shoulder. That's all there is to do for stages 45 six. So we're going to call this a video. I appreciate you coming by and watching for a little bit as I build a model. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Um, hit the like or like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post new videos. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next